Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you, who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV. Welcome to North Carolina Weekend. I'm Deborah Holt Noel. A lot of folks are familiar with the printed works of the late novelist Reynolds Price, whose stories were always set in the South and quite frequently his native home, North Carolina. But right now there's an exciting opportunity to hear Price's words on stage. This month, the Triad Stage in Greensboro is putting together a once-in-a-lifetime theatrical event to celebrate Price's life. Rob Holiday has the story. It's a line audiences seldom get a chance to hear. With dozens of novels and poems to choose from, it's not hard to come across Reynolds Price in print. But encountering his work on stage is a rarity. He was a poet and he was a novelist, but he, he, he didn't do a whole lot of theater. And the uniqueness doesn't end there. The way the performers at Triad Stage in Greensboro are serving up Price's plays is also out of the ordinary. We're doing three plays at once, which is unusual. You know, usually you focus on one play. It provides logistical challenges. You know, how do you tell a story that spans four decades on one set? Together, Reynolds Price's three plays are called the New Music Trilogy and represent his most significant stage work. We're only the second theater to, in the world to ever produce the full trilogy. And, uh, and we are, are doing that here in North Carolina in Reynolds Price's home uh, and uh, as a celebration of what he gave the state. True to form, the plays in Price's new music trilogy take place in a small eastern North Carolina town. All three works revolve around the Avery family, featuring Roma, the family's matriarch. But that was fine by me. Her son, Neil, and Taw, her daughter-in-law. Rounding out the cast of main characters is Porter Farwell, Neil's best friend. This play is about family, uh, perhaps the redefinition of family by the time we get to the end of the journey. And quite a journey it is. Together, the three plays span nearly 40 years. The first play, August Snow, is set in the 1930s and finds newly married Neil Avery having to choose between his wife and his old life as a bachelor. About eight years pass between the end of August Snow and the beginning of the second play, Night Dance. The first play is 1937 and the second play is 45. So um, we have some slight, you know, uh, hair and costume changes, but it's wonderful. World War II has changed the lives of the Averys and their friends significantly. In all three plays, Price creates deep characters and well-developed storylines. It is, uh, I think, very similar to reading a novel. Uh, it, that sort of full immersion into a world uh, that uh, uh, is rare in the theater, I think. The accents, and I recognize the story, and the set reminds me of my grandmother's house in North Carolina. By the time the third play, Better Days, begins, it's 1974, and Roma has just passed away. Neil and Taw's son, Cody, has come home from the Vietnam War. Sit down, please. Performing all three plays at once has required younger and older versions of the main characters. I've been acting for almost 40 years and I've never had the chance to watch somebody else play my character, right? And then to take, take things from that. Triad Stage is offering up a couple of different ways to see all three plays in the new music trilogy, either over two days or a back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back marathon session to get the complete story. The performances at Triad Stage are just one way the city of Greensboro is honoring Reynolds Price. This is actually a citywide celebration. We have panel discussions going on, artist demonstrations, all, all sorts of events around these plays uh, that engage the community and engage the state in a celebration of our native son. And all of it has fulfilled a promise made nine years ago. When Triad Stage performed one piece of the new music trilogy back in 2003, Reynolds Price was there. At the time, I made the promise to Reynolds Price that we would do the entire trilogy. And as things happen, um, budgets and recessions and all sorts of things come along, and uh, we never quite got around to doing it, uh, so that when we heard that he'd passed away, uh, we decided that that was a great time to stage the complete trilogy. Even though Price, who died in early 2011, isn't in the audience this time, the players at Triad Stage find great reward in honoring his legacy. That's really special for us, um, to see him get his due. 
In Greensboro, I'm Rob Holiday for North Carolina Weekend. New music runs February 12th through March 18th at the Triad Stage in Greensboro. For more information about the schedule and special event packages, go to triadstage.org or give them a call at 336-272-0160. Podcasts on unctv.org are made possible through the financial contributions of viewers like you who invite you to join them in supporting UNCTV.